It's part 1.1. One one. Hang on, Stan, I thought it was only three parts. Well, usually what I do during these builds is uh, I'll make a short of uh, little jobs, like this one, for example. Uh, obviously, the uh, clay has completely dried now, but as expected, you know, we do get cracks. So some of these, not all of them, I'll keep some of them in there, uh, will need filling in. So I thought what I'll do is have this sort of additional episode, which is going to be a bit separate, but, you know, additional. So you can see the process that I do to, uh, you know, make this good again. And also just a little update on part two and part three. So I'm going to stick my penny on because uh, Mrs. Retro Rome wasn't too happy that it wasn't working last time. So I better put it on. And I'll just have just a very quick chat to let you know where we are. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start uh, repairing some of these cracks. As I already said, you know, with this air dry clay, we will be expecting cracks. I did try my best to uh, keep them at bay, but I can't watch this thing 24-7. So, you know, at some point uh, during the three days it was drying, it started to crack. Anyway, it's a pretty simple job. I just uh, wet the area with my finger and then uh, place down some clay. And then again, wet my finger again just to, uh, you know, blend it all in kind of thing. But basically, so... A few days ago, I made a post on the posting bit on YouTube to say that all the bits have arrived that I need to do part two, and I'm going to make the start on it straight away, which I did. And then I said that if everything was going well, then it would be out by uh, Tuesday, which is the 30th. Yeah, Tuesday the 30th, that's right. Um, so yeah, there's just been one or two little problems, of major. Uh, the first one being is curing times. So the silicone, that... I read that completely wrong. Uh, on the box, it said uh, 30 minutes, uh, but for investigation, it's not. It's 30 minutes sort of, um, you know, you, you get half an hour to use it basically before it starts to set. And then it's four hours. So really it's four and a half hours uh, for it to be completely set. I gave it five to be on the safe side. So obviously that's most of a day gone, just waiting for that to, uh, you know, do its thing. And then obviously the, uh, the epoxy resin as well uh, on the box it says 24 hours but really once you add up uh, I think it was anything, anything deeper than a centimetre uh, would take uh, up to three days to cure so yeah it's quite a big head well it's big ish anyway so I've been, I've been checking on it. it seems to be hardening quite well but uh, yeah I need to come back to it I'm not too sure if it's completely fills the mole either because the uh, epoxy resin is quite a viscous sort of a uh, fluid so I'm not too sure how it's come out but we'll wait and see the cape that is pretty much done there's just a few little odd jobs I need to do on there a bit of tidying up but that's that's pretty much there but uh, yeah just talking about um, part three as well so originally I did say that uh, I would give it a two-week gap between each, each part and I did say this uh, part two would be out by Tuesday the 30th or was hoping it would be and you know what I do need those extra days so in future I'm just going to leave it like that if I say it's you know two weeks from apart then it's going to be two weeks apart because you just don't know what's going to happen in between but uh, you know these videos they aren't like how to videos this is very much a journey so you know how I go about building things so it's not always the right way to do things it's not always the wrong way either to be fair but uh, this is just what I've been doing over the years and you know i just uh thought people would like quite enjoy following the journey of me building these things also just talking about the next project after this one which is gonna be happening more or less dry afterwards which is uh the access chemical escape scene you know with the batmobiles getting trying out of there with all the flames and stuff so i have been getting the parts for that as well whilst uh, doing this build and yeah, there's gonna be quite a, a complex build. There's lots going on in there. There's gonna be a lot of lighting and obviously uh, various bits and pieces like vessels and containers and all sorts. So it's gonna be quite a complex project, but I'm still hoping to do that in, a, in another three-parter. Uh, I think it'll be quite good. Whilst talking about uh, schedules, so the plan is, I keep saying that, the plan is, uh, I do apologise if that annoys, annoys you, but the plan is, uh, there'll be like a build video 
I'll try and keep them as three parts as best I can, but there'll, there'll be a, a build video and they will be two weeks apart from each other. And in between that will be another Batman related video. It probably won't be build related, but it will be something to do with Batman. I've got quite a few uh, nice little videos uh, that I've got planned out. But it'll basically be, you know, be like a weekly video. So you'll have build one week, non-build the next. And that's how it's going to be for at least the foreseeable future. I've got quite a few ideas that I'd like to um, bring to you if you... Uh, you know, if you're a Batman fanatic like myself, uh, I like all things Batman, but yeah, that is the plan. So the build stuff I'm really enjoying, wants to continue. But I also want to, you know, do these other bits and pieces like I normally do as well. But that's pretty much it. So I'm going to stop talking and let you carry on. So there we go. Just a very quick update there of where we are in this build. So, as we mentioned, uh, the next one will be out on Sunday the 4th of February for part two, and then part three will be two weeks after that. Other than that, uh, thank you for watching and listening, and I uh, really do appreciate all the support that you haven't given me. It's uh, really fantastic. Uh, just before I go quickly, uh, as you can see, I've left some cracks there because I think they look like sort of natural, uh, you know, sort of um, fault lines maybe. I don't know, it'll look good once it's all painted anyway. But I will see you again on the 4th of February for part two. Until then, I'll see you later. It's Matt in the retro room. Join Matt in the retro room. Watch Matt in the retro room. Subscribe for more and stay tuned.